I am so tired of seeing these YouTube videos and these blog posts talking about if you invest $400 every single month in a 10% index fund, you will be a millionaire at 60 or 65. While that is true, and that's an okay strategy, why are you gonna have to wait that 20, 30, 40 years to be wealthy? I think it's pretty silly that you wanna wait 20, 30, 40 years to be wealthy. Why don't you do that in five years? That's why in this video, I'm gonna show you three ways to be wealthy in five years. I'm gonna not really skip over, but I'm gonna kinda skim over these first two because the third way is really how you're going to become wealthy in five years. And please, please do this. If you don't have any money, the first two ways are going to be very beneficial to you and then you can lead up into the third way. So let's get into it really quick. So the first way is actually just increasing your skill set. Why? Because the marketplace only pays you for your skills. You're not really getting paid per hour or you could just be sitting, you know, at your house and getting paid every single hour. No, you're getting paid for the skills you bring to the table within that hour. So if you want to increase your hourly wage, get a better skill, like increase your skill set. And you can do that by going to Skillshare or Udemy. And I'm not affiliated with those websites, but you can take some online courses to actually make more money. If you want to be better at sales, take a course. If you want to be a computer person, take a course. You can literally take a course over two weeks and you can have a greater skill. I know people that are making $150,000 an hour with one to two courses in IT, you know, computers that are making $150,000 just because they have two certifications underneath their belt and that's starting out. I'm gonna go ahead and go into step two and that's paying yourself first. Please do this because I have personally experimented with this, right? So I have actually went out and whenever I get my paycheck, I would just save whatever is left at the end of the month. Please don't do that. I've experimented with this and it happens. You have far less money at the end of the month if you wait to the end of the month to actually save money. Whenever you get your paycheck, set aside a certain percentage and put it into a savings account. You can do this automatically through a bank. And I've actually made a video on that. So if you wanna go check out the video where I talk about how to manage your money, like the 1% of the video is gonna be in the description down below. Before we get into the third way and how you can actually be wealthy in five years, hit that like button if you're excited. And step three, I'm gonna show you how to make $600 every single month. And you can increase it by $600 every single month every year after that. So how do you do that? You do that by house hacking. Please, if you already know what this is, don't click out of this video because I'm gonna show you and break down why you should be house hacking rather than investing your money for 20, 30, even 40 years to only get 25% of what you could get. I'm gonna be going deep in depth. So hear me out for just a second. If you invest this money, you're gonna be making $138,000. And instead, if you do this strategy, if you house hack, you can make $462,000. You're literally quadrupling your return if you just do this. So. Let's get into it really quick. House hacking. If you don't know what that is, you buy a single family where you can rent out the rooms or you buy a duplex, triplex, or fourplex with a residential loan. What do I mean by that? You can put down three and a half to five percent down with an FHA loan. Now don't get bogged down on the details. If you don't know what house hacking is, you can literally research this and figure out what this is on a Google search or look at all the YouTube videos on my channel. But essentially, in a nutshell, this is what you're gonna do. You can buy a duplex, it's a two unit, triplex, fourplex, a four unit. Yeah, let's just say you buy a duplex for a two unit, right? You're going to live in one of the units, you're going to rent out the other. This is how you're going to do it. So you're gonna buy this duplex for $150,000. Well, three and a half to 5% down on that property is, you know, it's roughly like $55, $5,700 to $7,000. That's okay if you don't have that. That's why I wanted you to do the step one and step two before you get into this step three. You're going to increase your skill set so you can increase the amount of money you're going to save so you can actually get a property. Then you can house hacking to make this money. So if you buy a property for $150,000, let's just say, for example, your mortgage is going to be $600 every single month. So that's your principal interest taxes and insurance. And now this is going to vary based off of where you are, you know, how much the duplex is actually going to cost and your taxes and insurance and depending on the year you know you're watching this video the interest rate might be higher might be lower but it's probably not going to be lower because right now interest rates are amazing so let's say your mortgage is $600 and you can rent it out for $750 so taking out for your vacancies repairs expenses everything all your expenses that you need when owning a rental property you're breaking even not really hear me out you are renting out that one unit $750 every single month and your mortgage is $600, but you're living in the other unit. So you're essentially saving that $600 every single month. You're living for free. So that's $7,200 every single year. Now, hear me out, please. If you put that 5% down on this property, that's $7,500. You almost made that back 
in an entire year. That's a 96% ROI. You can almost not get better than that. There's a few ways to get better than that, but whenever you're dealing with your own money, it's very hard to get a 96% return on your investment. And that's just for one year. Do it again the next year. Well, now you made $7,200. Again, a year after that, year after that. Now here is the crazy thing. Whenever you are half stacking, you're getting FHA loan, you are obligated to stay in that property for one year. What's to say you can't move out after that one year and do it again and do it again and do it again. And in five years, you're gonna have five properties that's paying you you know, you're saving that like $600 every single month by house hacking, but then now you have all these other properties paying you $600 every single month. So let's put this in perspective really quick compared to the 10% you would be getting from an index fund. You put that same $7,500 into an index fund, you don't touch it, you don't put any more contributions into that index fund. So for 30 years, that contribution, that $7,000 will turn into $138,000 what we talked about earlier, which isn't bad, right? You just turn whatever, but you had to wait that 30 years. Now let's compare it to waiting 30 years for this one property. One property, you're saving $600 every single month. So that's $7,200 every single year you're saving. Times that by 30. All right, we're gonna do that really quick while I'm here like with you. $7,200 times 30. This is 30 years you're holding this property. We're gonna compare it to the 10% index fund we're talking about. So remember that 10% for the $7,000 in the index fund is $138,000. So just off of the savings, just off of the money that you're not spending on rent or your mortgage for your savings $7,200 every single year, times that by 30, that's $216,000. You've already beat that. You've already beat you know, that contribution you made into an index fund. That's not all. Now think about this. That property is going to increase in value. Let's just say conservatively, 5%. 5% appreciation from this property. Now let's take into let's take into account inflation, right? Inflation being 3% every single year. Your property is appreciating by 2% a year, just 2%. So with that 2% increase with appreciation, we already took into account inflation. So that your property, your $150,000 property is now worth $246,000. Wait, James, what about the mortgage? You waited 30 years for this. So think about it. Your mortgage now is paid off. If you didn't touch any of your balance, right? If you didn't take out a HELOC, if you didn't take out any cash and you kept it as is, the tenant is paying for your property. So now you have a property worth $246,000. That comes out to, you know, a total of $462,000 compared to what is $138,000. Compare that to the index that you just put in there and you saved for 20, 30, 40 years. So, okay, 30 years. For 30 years, you waited to get that money. Okay, we'll compare that to a property that you house hacked. You're living literally rent free and you quadrupled your return. That's why I'm so tired of this debate because you wanna talk about averages, right? Averaging in the stock market for an index fund 10%, right? I'm gonna talk about averaging in the, the housing market. This is average. This isn't even extraordinary. And extraordinary being what we've been experiencing this past year with the housing market ex exploding. But I digress because I wanna show you how to actually be wealthy in five years. And what I mean by wealthy is you are time wealthy now. And what do I mean by time wealthy? In five years, you have stack every single year, that's five properties now. Okay, let's say for the, the fifth property you're still living in. So you're saving $600. We're gonna do this on the calculator. I'm gonna do this with you. You're saving $600. Well, what about the other four units? Like what, what about the other properties that you moved out of? You got a new tenant in there. That's what happens. Whenever you move out of that unit and you go and house hack another property, that unit you moved out of, you put another tenant in there. Now you're making 600 saving, first property. $750 you're, sa you're making now in cash flow from the next property. And now times that by four. So 750 times four, because remember you're living in the fifth unit. So you're making $3,000 in cash flow, and then you're saving $600 because you're house hacking the fifth property. $3,600 in five months? Like, you're time wealthy now. Like, what do I mean by that is you can quit your day job. Most, most people can quit their day job at $3,600 every single month. So now, you're wealthy. Guess what? If you wait five years, that $460,000 that we were just talking about for that one property, times it by five now. 
And that's what you can make in literally 30 years by just taking out five years to house hack. If you got value out of that, hit that subscribe button down below and click the bell so you get notified when I upload a new video just like this one. And the next video is going to be why you should not be paying off your credit card. So subscribe so you can be, you know, you can get notified when that, that video drops. But for now, I'm gonna pop up some videos all right in here that I picked out specifically for you to bring you even more value. So go check those videos out. Until the next video, I'm out. See ya.